Hi everyone, it's Peggy Merwin with Stamp with Peggy. Today is Monday, September 12th. Can you believe this month is half over already? Hope everybody had a wonderful Labor Day last weekend. I missed you, but it was nice to have the time off to kind of get caught up after we got back from camping and stuff too. So we're gonna give everybody a minute or two to get on. I'm gonna try to find myself here so that I can watch for comments. And hi, Nancy, thanks for joining. All right, there I am. So I should be able to see some comments. Hi, Sonia, thank you so much for sharing. Hi, Sue, hi, Helen. Um, so hopefully everybody had a great weekend this past weekend. Um, my sister Tina and I had a fabulous weekend. Um, we had our demonstrator event that we call Holiday Hoopla. We used products out of the holiday catalog and they had they got to make five different classes. We had demonstrations, we had show and share, we had fabulous displays. Um, so kind of keep an eye on my Stamp With Peggy blog and I will be sharing it onto Facebook then from the blog too. But there were, the displays were so, so gorgeous. Some of the things I might be doing some casing on. Um, okay, we have lots of you joining and I missed saying hi to everybody. So thank you so much for jumping on. Hi, Becky. Okay, so again, make sure that you share, comment, like, tag your friends, um, get everybody to come join us on Monday nights and we can have some fun together. Last, two weeks ago was the last drawing. So I wasn't here last week. Hi, Gail. Um, so I decided I would do two drawings tonight so that nobody missed out from last week. Now I need to find my little prizes. Okay, first one is the, whoops, you don't see the name, iridescent rhinestones, a package of those that I will pop in the mail. And those are going to Nicole, and Nicole, I'm sorry, Fabry. I always know Nicole, Nikki, and I think she jumped on, so hopefully she's still on so she knows that she won. And then the second one is the Glossy Dots Assortment. Great for cards and for scrapbooks. And I know this person is a big scrapbooker. So Becky Cox, these will be popping out in the mail to you. So thank you guys all so much for commenting and sharing. And Okay, so again, this past weekend we had a fabulous um, event. And I'm going to kind of share, tonight's going to be a little bit longer because I want to share at least one group of the swaps that we had. And then I have two fun little projects to share with you. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down because I want to show you the weekly deals for this week um, that end on Wednesday night. And then new deals start on Thursday, okay? So let me flip my camera. Yay, she is on. Okay, so let me flip my camera down. Let's see, camera's there. Down we go. Let's get this flipped down. All right, close your eyes, coming back up here. Okay. Now let's get it lined up so that you can see and I still know where I'm working and okay all right this is the weekly deals and I do have some of them to actually show you um what it is you know, you're kind of getting sneaks over here too okay show you some of the things so one of the things is the texture chic memory and more cards and envelopes they are regular ten dollars and they are $8. No, that's not quite right. They were $12 and they're $9.60. So there's the beautiful card and then a fun envelope. There are 20 of these, I believe. I'm looking for a number on it right now. I'm pretty sure there's 20 of these in the kit. And then there's also the memory and more cards to go along with so you can make some quick easy they're great i like them for fun fold cards because the hard part's already done so then you're just creating some fun folds okay so those are on sale now let's see what i did with what i did with the rest of them the red ruffled ribbon is on sale yet through wednesday the what do they call this one the white frayed ribbon 
where's my name? Yeah, white frayed ribbon. And so that's just a fun one. Thanks, Julie, for sharing. I'm seeing lots of shares. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And then the soft succulent half inch shimmer ribbon. That's a really pretty one too. The flowers adhesive back trinkets. So there's gold and silver in here. And the summer shadows dies. Look at how fun those are. There's a stamp set that coordinates with them, but the dies are on sale. Oh, you know what? The sale price is not showing on there. Regular $34, but I believe they're $28, okay? And then, let's see what, I have one other on here are the Soft Pastels assortment. These are regular $10, $9 for $8.10. So those are kind of fun to play with too. So again, those are good just through Wednesday. And then Thursday, we'll have brand new weekly deals happening, okay? All right, the other thing, let's see, let me find them. Okay, um, like I said, at our event this weekend, we had three different swap groups that people could participate in. The first one was holiday, Halloween treats, treat holders, and I'll share those maybe next week. Then the second one was Christmas cards, and I'll share those a little later. And the third one was we called anything else. It couldn't be like a Christmas or Halloween or Thanksgiving. It could be fall. It had to use products out of the holiday catalog. Okay, so here's the first one. And I got to see how well you can see. Let's bring it up a little closer. Okay, um, so it used the Apple Harvest, which is one of the perfect partners. So you can get the die set to go with it. So you don't have to fussy cut all of that. Okay, so that was a pretty one. Love the soft seedlings. Okay, these are so pretty. This one's got the leaf out of the soft seedlings and then the aspen trees. And then she did a fun technique coloring the background. And then this one with the Hello Harvest and the fun little leaves. And here is another of the... Um, Soft seedlings, and this has a special little technique, kind of the alcohol um, baby wipe technique. So that's really pretty. See, you can get some fun colors with this one. I will be posting them on my blog, and I will give reference to who made each one of them. Isn't that pretty? That's kind of with a spotlight, so it's got a cutout on it. This one's the Splendid Day, so it's got some real pretty little embellishment on it and this is the uh, perched on a tree bird and then okay this one is also the aspen leaf or um aspen Dang it, now I lost it. Aspen dies. So it cuts out, and then Colleen did this one with all of the fun little colors and shimmers. And, and then the last one are the snowflakes, and I can't remember the name of it, but that's a fun one with You're the Coolest. So aren't those awesome? Um, we had, I think it was 12 people participate in this swap. So everybody went home with 12 different cards um, than what they came with. So that was really fun. Okay, at the event, and I'm trying to find where I put, I was moving things all over the place, so now I'm trying to find where I set things. Okay, let's put some things on the floor. I have a piece of designer paper here somewhere. There it is. Okay, um, we did a couple of demonstrations, and so I decided since we missed last week, I would do two this week. Okay, so the first one is a fun little treat holder, and I'm not going to show it to you ahead of time. Some of you who were there this weekend already know this, except I'm going to change it up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm starting with a six by six piece of paper, so you can get four of these. 
out of one 12 by 12 paper. Oops, let's go this way, okay? So you're gonna start out and you're gonna score it at one and three eighths across the whole length. So I have that and it's hard to see on this paper. Let me find where my score mark is. Okay, so it's at one and three eighths. And then you're gonna turn it and you're gonna score it at two and three quarters, five and a half, and you're gonna go the whole length on those two score lines. So let's go ahead and I'll fold it on those. Okay, so that you can kind of see it better. And then we scored it at one and three eighths and four and an eighth, but only up to this score line, okay? And so then we're gonna take our paper snips and this little half inch line, we're gonna cut it off completely. And I can see that I scored that in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna quick grab my trimmer and I'm gonna score this again at one and three eighths. Just give me a second. I think I did it at one and five eighths or one and three quarters, okay? So there we have it at one and three eighths. That looks better. And it's really hard to see on this gingham paper, but we are going to cut on each of those score lines. Hi, Diane, thanks for joining. I think I saw Ruth on here too. Okay, this half inch edge, we're gonna angle cut the top and the bottom so that it gets rid of some of the bulk. Okay, and then we're just going to yeah, adhere the half inch strip. I'm gonna fold that in like that, and then we're gonna just fold it in half. Hi, Eve. <clears throat> okay, so now we have this fun little fold, and then <clears throat> we're gonna square the bottom of it. So we're gonna fold the edges in, or those end flaps, And then we're gonna fold the next one, and the next one, and the last one. And we're gonna trim that just a little bit at an angle. Just to, again, eliminate a little bit of the bulk. I can see it's kind of overlapping some. Yeah, and so is that one, okay. Fold that one in and then fold our last one over. And then I like to use my bone folder down inside there to make sure all of it seals shut really, really, really good. Okay, so there we have a square bottom and then, oh, we need to trim that little, there's a little piece hanging. Okay, so then we can put our treat down inside and I forgot to grab the hole punch, but punch a hole in here, and then put ribbon through it, but then we'd need to decorate it on the front. And so we're gonna do different than I did on Saturday. Okay, let's close up our glue. We're gonna bring the Stamparatus in, and I am using the Best Witches, or Bewitching, stamp set. Hi, Donna. Okay, and I'm gonna work with the boots right now. And I am going to ink it up with my Memento. And I'm using the Stamparatus because, and I think we talked about this before, but it doesn't hurt to remind everybody, right? Okay, and so no, it's not gonna be a gnome project, Sue. Okay, see how it's light in there? Because this is a solid image, we wanna make sure that it covers really, really well. So if you stamp it twice, you will then get a nice, clean image, okay? And so I have already done that with the hat. And so we are going to punch this hat out.
And this punch likes to leave all kinds of little trails for you. How's that? Okay. I'm going to color her socks. So we're going to give her some purple Highland Heather. I'm using dark Highland Heather. Dark Granny Apple Green. I have been using these blends a lot lately. And my dark pumpkin pie. And then I'm gonna color her boots the dark pumpkin pie also. Okay, now there isn't um, a die or a punch for this. So you do have to fussy cut the boots. Again, it doesn't take that long to do. On this one, I'm going to, I think, well, maybe I won't. Hang on. We'll see. Okay, so we're just going to cut around. So what did everybody else do this weekend? Like I said, I know some of you were with me this weekend. Um, I have Fall Fest coming up on the 22nd of October. The deadline is this Friday, no, Thursday, the 15th. Um, it will be a, a lot like this weekend or like this event this weekend was. It's a one day kind of mini retreat. It's from nine in the morning until four in the afternoon. And we will be doing all kinds of projects. Um, a project being like a set of four cards, some treat holders, maybe scrapbook something, gift items. Um, just you never know what I might come up with. But that then... I. I haven't announced it yet, so you guys will get a sneak peek. We are going to do a card swap at that event also. So I will be sending out to those who are signing up to see who all wants to participate in a swap so that we can have some fun with that again, too. Hi, Becky. Thanks for joining, and thanks for sharing, too. Yay, Roseanne. I can't wait either. I got so geared up after I got through with um, hoopla this weekend that I'm ready to sit down and kind of start designing for Fall Fest. I can't yet because I need to play catch up on some August things, but hopefully by this weekend I will be able to do that. Okay. All right. We're almost, I'm going to leave some at the top of each boot so that I have a little bit of room to put it behind my hat and not lose some of the boot, okay? You mean nice project. Thank you. Okay, the fun thing with these bags, and that's what I told the ladies in the demonstration this weekend, you can make it all different sizes. <clears throat> um, here is, somewhere here on my work table, Here's a smaller one of the bags that I made this weekend. It holds a chapstick inside. You could put some other smaller candies in there. So it's lots of fun. Okay, now we're back to our box. Now remember, we've got it punched here and we've got some ribbon at the top. So now I want to attach my hat, my boots to my hat. <clears throat> Okay, so I am just going to, and I got to make sure I'm up here in the screen. Yep, I think we're going to use the glue. I'm just going to put some glue on the white spot, maybe. And Linda Vanderspool, we're going to pull the silicone mat back in. Okay, and then we're going to put a little bit on there. I'm going to get my feet together. And we're going to put our hat right on there. Look at how cute that is. Okay. And then we can put some dimensionals. And then we're going to put another dimensional up there. And I really think that's probably going to be enough. Okay. So then we're just going to take our backings. And we're going to attach that right onto our little treat bag. And we've got a quick, easy, fun little bag. We could tuck a little boo underneath here. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> that was the one project that I decided a quick, fast and easy treat holder to be able to show you. Oh, so I will show you. This is one of them that I did this weekend using the gnomes, of course. I also did a Halloween one to show them. Okay. And then we have another fun project. Okay. So Dollar Tree again, right? And this actually, I think Tina bought and I got them from her. So I have no idea how long ago this was available at Dollar Tree, but I have five or six of them left. Okay. Um, because of you, Linda, and watching Peggy use it. Way to go, Cheryl. Way to go, Linda, for selling those silicone mats. They are fabulous. Okay, so it's a stand-up frame, okay? And, of course, what are we going to do with it? Hmm. Okay, so it measures roughly six by eight inches. I think I trimmed it off like one little notch less on each of them. Okay, then I used a piece of the black and white designs designer paper. And so we are going to adhere these together. And I can't remember, check it out. I did a quarter of an inch this time. You guys were all complaining about the eighth inch so bad. Don't worry, there's some eighth inch ones coming yet too. The silicone mat's a little bigger. Yeah, sometimes I agree. Sometimes it's like, ooh. Okay. That's going to get adhered onto our frame. So then you no longer have, I'm sorry, the little gaudy glitter frame. And we have a fun frame. Okay. And then we are going to start building. Let's see, what do I want to show you? Okay. We're using the deckled frames, and so we are going to build a layer. And I did a piece of basic black that is three and three quarter by five and an eighth. See, I've got you guys all loving the eighth inch stuff. Okay, and then I used the largest deckled rectangles frame on Highland Heather. And then I cut a layer of pumpkin pie that is three and an eighth by four and a half. And then I did another deckled rectangle. And this one is the, yep, third largest. And then I did a basic white layer with the fourth one down. Okay, so I used the, I, I told you the largest, it wasn't. It's the second, third, and fourth are what the three layers. And then the pumpkin pie one is just plain. Okay, all right. So now, I'm not going to glue those yet. Let's do some building. All right, so I stamped the witch's hat with the spider web. And I colored it with pumpkin pie, light and dark Stampin' Blends. And then we need to punch it. Do you guys ever get where you can't hold it very well? Did you know that you can take a post-it note or just another scrap of cardstock and adhere it to the edge so that you have a handle? We need to do it up here so that you have a handle to be able to get that item down inside the punch, okay? Right now, I don't need it. I can get it without, easier for me. But that always works really, really well. Okay, so we're just gonna punch that hat out, and then we have a little bit more confetti. Okay. And then I did another set of feet that I cut apart. I did another hat, the solid one with the stripes. And so I colored those. We are going to fussy cut 
the stripe. I don't want the hat, but I want the stripe and the buckle to go on my orange spider hat. Okay, again, it's an easy cut. Actually, I don't want to cut that edge off. I'm going to leave the white because then that will line up with the white on the other one. Okay. All right. And like I said, I have that one I'm cutting. Okay, let's see. You know what? I'm going to cut that one too. You like how I talk to myself? You guys do that too, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and glue our band and buckle onto our hat. And, oh. Look at how cute that is. Look at, it changes it just like that. Okay, now we use, and this idea came from Susan Camfield, who got it from, I think she said Connie Ingram. Oops, this is the candy cane die set. It's got this really fun stripe, but then it's got some fun candy canes and it's got this great banner. Linda, I knew that you would be talking to yourself. That didn't surprise me. I'm just cautious of what you might say to yourself, right? Okay, so I cut this out of basic white. And then I'm going to, I already cut part of it off, but I'm going to kind of cut it in half, but a little bit less than half. And I'm going to trim off the sides. Okay, so I have this. Kind of weird, huh? Okay, so we are going to take our basic white deckle. And before we assemble, I'm going to use my black Stampin' Write marker. You guys are going to love this. We're going to do the good old country line and dot. You've all done this, right? I know most of you, when you're at my classes, complain when you have to hand draw something. It's just a little squiggle. doesn't matter. They're not all the same. And am I getting in there? When I get done, I'll bring it up so that you can see it closer because it looks like it's far away on the screen. Do you have to concentrate when you do that? Linda, this is when I really talk to myself. Okay, all right, see, not bad, right? Okay, and so you just got the little squiggles, just decorates it up so it's not quite so plain. All right, so we are going to, and I don't have any glue or anything on here yet, we're gonna kind of set our hat on there and we're gonna put the spider on there. So let's get our Memento ink and we're gonna hang a spider off her hat. So we're kind of just gonna go right there. Okay, that'll give me something to be able to kind of start working with that my hat needs to go about there. Yep, got black on, okay. And then my feet, oh, and I forgot to leave extra on these feet, darn it. You know what? We're gonna add a little piece. I'm just gonna cut a chunk. Okay. And then we're just gonna put a dot of glue I just want a little bit of something to work with. The spider does go with the web on this one especially, doesn't it? All right, so we are going to just stick those boots right onto there. 
making sure that no glue goes onto the back side. Okay? All right. Now we can go back to here. We're going to put our feet on there. Okay, our hat's going to come. All right, that's going to work. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take this little funny piece that we made and we're going to glue the boots on to the front of it. Not to the back, but to the front. So again, we're just going to put a little spot of glue. We don't want a lot. We don't want it to ooze all over. And you can kind of angle them a little bit. So she's got kind of wonky feet going, right? Okay. So we've got like that. I'm gonna check my hat again. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So then we're gonna take a mini dimensional and we're gonna stick it right in the center of that hole, okay? It's not holding this down. And then we're gonna take our hat and we're gonna, again, use mini dimensionals, okay? This side's gonna go over here. I don't want a dimensional on this left side. So we're gonna put one on the right side and we're gonna put, actually, we're gonna put a bigger one at the top. Okay, this is like the least amount of dimensionals Peggy ever uses, okay? That would be kind of cute. Hmm. An old house to be sitting on our witch with her legs hanging out the bottom. Okay. All right, you know what? I got a little bit of glue oozing right here. So the trick to that is, where did I put it? No, uh -oh. did I bring it over here? I did. It was right by me all the time. You got it, Linda. You saw this. Okay. I'm using my bossing, embossing buddy, and I'm just going to pound over where there's sticky glue to make sure that the glue does not stick because I want these. These legs are going to swing. Linda was correct. Okay. So it's going to go like that. We're going to take the backing off that, and then we're going to take the backing off from our hat. We're going to put our hat on so that the bottom of the feet, the, the white part is not showing, and so that our spider web comes off the edge of our hat. Okay, and then check that out. Isn't that fun? She did do it with the gnomes also. Um, to me, the feet didn't show as well because they're small, but I just thought that was the cutest thing, and I thought on this frame piece, it would be so cute. Okay, so now we're going to assemble, and so we are going to adhere our basic white to our granny apple. Look at that, that's more even than a quarter of an inch, right? And I did not use dimensionals on this one. Um, just kind of the way it sat, I decided that I wanted to just really focus on how fun the swinging legs were. Okay, and then we're gonna put it onto our pumpkin pie, which is a little more than an eighth of an inch kind of hard with the decal to get the exact. And then some more glue and put it onto our Highland Heather. Thanks, Gail. Okay, and then finally onto our black. Then we can pull our frame back in. And here I might dimensional 
and pop that out off from there. Okay, now we've got some extra white up here, extra space. I guess it's not white, but okay. So we really need to fill that in also, don't you think? So I used the Alpha Best stamps and I used the little lined one and then the letters. Let's get that out of the way. So I stamped the outside with pumpkin pie and then I stamped the letters to spell spooky and we're going to punch them out one at a time. And I didn't do it quite right because I'm gonna have to cut it each time now. Sorry about that. Oh, now that would be cute. A pumpkin in the middle for the body, the hat, and the feet hanging out the bottom. There's just, with these Halloween things, you look at them initially, and it's like, oh, okay, I don't know if I'd use it much. And then you start seeing some things and how you can change and adjust things, and it's amazing. Okay. We're just punching out each of the little tags. Okay, one left. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. So here's where, I don't want that. I'm just putting just a little dot of adhesive and then we can tuck that right into there. Works so well. Okay, so there we have all our letters. And we're going to, the little mini dimensionals, when you cut everything off, you end up with so much leftover that you get some nice long strips that work great for things like this. Okay, so we're just gonna put dimensionals on the back of each letter. And then we have a piece of one and an eighth by four inch, is that correct? Where'd my ruler go? It went on the floor. Oh. Okay, yes, one and an eighth by four of pumpkin pie. And then we are just going to adhere. Uh, you know what, before we do that, I also want to do the little squiggles and this is the left hand showing so that you can't see as I'm going right over the top of that. Looks like we are going long tonight. So you are kind of getting two in one. That wasn't my plan to go super long. Okay, almost, there we go. Okay, we're going to adhere that to a piece of basic black before we put our alphabets on. Okay, like that and like that. And then there's our S. There's our Y. There's our K. And our P. And an O. And an O. Spooky. And then I will dimensional that up there. And then I want to punch some stars. Ouch. Keep your finger out of the way. And I forgot to bring those over too. The In the new embossing tool um, tray, there is a pair of locking tweezers that are fabulous for things like this. Um, Robin used to be the queen of tweezers. Wendy definitely is. Um, with these new locking ones, I could even do it. I was pretty amazed with myself at how well they hold it so nice and tight. 
so that you are not getting glue all over your fingers. Okay, so there's two. There's a third one. If I can get some glue on it. Oh, that got a little much. Okay. All right. But the little corner here is still missing a little something, don't you think? So remember when we made the little pumpkin um, on the gnome? Okay. Well, remember, we don't have the half-inch punch. And that half-inch one would look a little weird. So we're going to bring the small embossed cut and a piece of pumpkin pie and then I'm using the layering square or layering layering circles the smallest die okay I'm going to cut out a circle it's gonna wiggle and jiggle a bit sorry let's get that okay so that we have a circle and then I'm going to take the die and I'm going to cut the little top out just like we did with the punch only we have these circles and again it's a nice size to go along with I don't know it's approximately a one inch punch so if you still have one inch punches you can use that too okay let's get this off from here it's all stuck really well all right let's get this out of the way now we're going to pull our black marker in again. We're almost done, I promise. Okay, and then we're going to give him the pumpkin lines like we did on the little one. We're going to give him some big eyes. I tried doing a tooth smile, and for me, that just didn't work. So my pumpkin gets a face just like if I were truly cutting the pumpkin out, because that's what mine get all jiggity-jaggity. Okay, and there's our pumpkin face. And then we pull our frame back in and we put a dimensional in the center of him. And we put her little pumpkin right down at the bottom. Okay, so there's our fun little projects for tonight. Whoops. And yeah, I need to put those together yet. All right, and so there's that. Oh, let's get it in the frame. I'm trying to see the picture on here. Oh, we got room there, right? You can see that, fabulous. Okay, so like I said, I have six of these gorgeous frames. They're stand, so they'll go up on the shelf, like up on my mantle back here, okay? I will cut a kit. The designer paper might be different. I can't stamp it. So you would need to have this stamp set and then you can do whatever if you don't have the alphabet. The rest of it all you can do. Um, and I will mail a kit to anybody who places an order by Friday of this week. Okay, again, I shouldn't say anybody. I should say the first six people. Um, because that's all I have for these frames. And then I will also cut a set or, or cut one of these for you. Again, I'll include the white paper for all of it, but it, you will have to have this stamp set yourself or choose whatever you would like to put on it. Um, so anybody who would like one of those, place an order using KSYCB6TJ um, host code this week by Friday. Now, you can order the, of course, bundles. You can order the weekly deals. Um, again, on Thursday, the new weekly deals will come out. Possibly, both weekly deals will show at the same time. And there's another surprise coming yet this week, um, which, again, I can't tell you till tomorrow, but... 
you could get some good deals is basically what I'm saying to be able to get this kit free mailed to you, okay? So that's everything for now. We hit almost an hour and I'm so sorry, but hopefully you loved the project. I just thought it turned out so cute that everybody should want this hanging on or sitting on their shelf, right? So you guys have a great week. I will see you next Monday, which will be the 19th. Oh, you know what? I just, don't hang up, don't hang up, don't hang up. I just realized that I forgot to announce, and I got to find it on my sheet here, the August card challenge. I haven't got the new card challenge up yet. And so those who participated, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we had nine people participate sharing their cards. Um, a couple of them shared two cards. So they got an extra entry in there. And the winner of the $25 shopping spree is, and I got to look to see where it was. Okay, and that is Jamie Marsh. So Jamie, congratulations. You got a $25 gift certificate from me. So just let me know what you would like and I'll get it ordered in to you. And then I will this week yet get a post or a, a card challenge sent out for September. So you have two weeks. Is that right? Two, almost, you'll have two and a half weeks to complete your card and get it posted on my Stamp with Peggy VIP group. Um, if you're not a member now, request to join so I can add you um, and then you can post away. So again, you guys have a great week. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.